This is just an impromptu walk around video of this truck, 1996 GMC Sierra 1500 SLE, four wheel drive, Z71. Uh, I've been driving this truck for several days. It drives beautifully. Uh, it was under a carport its whole life, not a garage, but it was out of the sun, which explains the condition. Uh, we did uh, have it professionally buffed, polished, clay barred, all that. Paint came out really nice. And I'm going to start it up here in a minute, but I just wanted to kind of walk around it, give an overall view. Um, we put four brand new shocks on it, some Bilstein shocks, uh, body bumpers underneath. I guess the little bumpers that go between the frame and the cab. We did put new chrome step bars on it. It had some on there, but they just, they were aged. So we put the, the same ones and we put a brand new toolbox because the toolbox was out of the truck, but it already had the bed bars that go with a toolbox. So we got a brand new UWS toolbox. Uh, AC was just redone, 134. Blower motor resistor, all that works great. And tires are really good. Absolutely rust-free truck. If you crawl up under this truck, it's kind of scary. The bottom of the cab is pretty immaculate. And there's no rocker rust or any anything for that matter. Um, of course, we sprayed the frame a little bit from what you can see under the fender wells and from, you know, walking around the truck. But you can crawl up under there and see there's absolutely no rust. But uh, we'll go inside and show you the interior. This is probably the worst part of the interior, you know, from uh, getting in and out, I guess, or sitting on the edge of the seat. The, uh, I think LMC truck and probably Classic Industries sells new <coughs> uh, seat covers for these, you know, where you can have them professionally reupholstered. Got the original floor mats. This is an extra mat here that was in the truck. It goes all the way across, which is nice. The carpet is in great shape underneath. And door panel in good shape. You can see it's not sun faded like most of them. Headliners really good. Everything. I mean, uh, even behind the seats is nice. And this one has um, in that little box back there. We'll show you that in a minute. It's got all the tools and the jack and everything. Um, clean in here. There was a flip piece here that is missing. Might be able to find one online. But no, it's really, really clean. Original radio, which does work. I'm not going to turn on the radio because I don't want any kind of copyright infringement from uh, YouTube or anything. But we'll fire it up. The miles are, let's see, 219, 174 right now. We'll crank it up. Fires right up. Is that AC is ice cold. See all the gauges what they're supposed to do. Dash is excellent. Here's to the original dash, no cracks. It's amazing condition. And we'll pop the hood, but we'll show you the interior. Well, we'll, we'll show you the interior in a minute on the other side. It is a 305 truck, 5.0. Got to have the original window sticker. You know, the window stickers with the truck, owner's manual, all that good stuff. Let's see though, got a fresh compressor on it. AC is is new, and uh, we put a brand new battery in it as well, just for peace of mind. That's the top of the line, Duralast Gold, I believe. Did a fresh oil change. Checked all the fluids and some fingerprints on it, but yeah, buffed out really nice. It's nice and shiny. Get a little 
close up here. We did put new headlights and um, turn signals just to freshen it up. The old ones weren't real bad, but we just wanted it to look nice and all this looks great under here. I'm gonna take some pictures of the underside just to show you how clean it is. I'm probably not gonna crawl on my knees in the video and do that right now, but um, see the tires have really good tread. Take a look at the inside on this side. Door panel's really good. Power windows do work. And yeah, this is, um, I don't, I'm not gonna take off the cover right now, but I'll take a picture. All the tools are in there and the jack and the also the instructions are in there with the tether still attached to the instructions. So it hasn't been, you know, thrown around and that kind of thing. And glove box. I mean the light works in, in the glove box under the under the dash, overhead, all that everything. This is a little C, something that goes with the C D radio. And it's got the uh, data plate in there. This is the owner the owner's manual. Let's see if I get the window sticker out. I'm gonna take a picture of it, but the window sticker is in here. If I can get it to open up. There she is. A lot of nice equipment, 373 gear ratio. About 25 grand back in the day. Just do a little more of a walk around. Let me turn on the lights too so you can see. Well, I'll turn those on in a second, but see the new shocks. Tires in good shape, rims in good shape. They do make refurbished rims for these. That I put some on my Tahoe and they look brand new. That's something you could do on this truck, although the rims aren't bad. Uh, the two rear ones are the worst. You can see a little bit. And it might polish out if you if you take your time. The front ones are definitely a lot better, but it's, it doesn't detract from the truck, in my opinion. Let me see if I can get close enough to get some pictures. Tailgate does work. Uh, it's got a drop-in bed liner, which uh, we looked underneath. It's not rusty underneath. And it's a GM bed liner, too, which tells me that it's probably been with the truck since it was new. Got a single exhaust with a catalytic converter still in place, no modified exhaust, which is pretty neat. Most of these you have dual exhaust or some kind of modification. Check this tire and rim. And I'll just do a walk around on the lights real quick. I mean, they all work, turn, turn signals and all that. I've been driving the truck, but, and, you, and I've been driving it in the heat, which right now down here, it's like 100 degrees during the day. It does not overheat. There's a real nice stance to it, but you can see all the lights are working and nice and clear. Looks fantastic. This is one I would like to keep, but I can't keep everything. But this is just a beautiful short box short and wide as they say z71 my favorite color black by the way but it's just a great looking truck of course we got all the keys to the toolbox because it's brand new and that's it but we're going to put it up for sale here soon